are 19 years old and as a rookie in college on the same team with Zion and Cam and all these guys, dropped almost 23 points a game. If you round up, it's 23, 8, and 4 a game. Now, he didn't shoot it great, but we've seen. Look, John Morant didn't shoot it great. He shot just about 31% as a rookie. He shot 36% as a sophomore. This dude had one season in college, shot 31%. And, and, and besides all the numbers and the fact that he's six foot seven and he can play the two or the three, Stephen A., he's got it. R.J. Barrett is not scared, even with Duke screwing up and maybe people thinking he took too many shots or took too many of the big shots. That's because he's not scared to take the big shot. He, and it's not even like he's taking low percentage shots. Oh, I'll take a bit. No, he gets a good shot. He's going to take it. R.J. Barrett is made for the NBA, for any market. He is going to be an excellent NBA player, and he is underrated right now. I don't believe he's underrated. I, don't, I really don't believe he's underrated. He's rejected to go number three overall. I don't consider that being underrated. I mean, the fact of the matter is people look at him and they say, hey, you know, he's got potential. We'd like to see him be a bit more ambidextrous, use that right hand a little bit more. I've, 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 I've been fixated on that. I didn't give a damn. He told me, I got news for you. I'm right-handed. Well, you ain't use your right hand. That's bottom line. And you were working on your right hand religiously in the offseason practicing it. Well, why the hell would you need to practice if you're right-handed, okay? Because you don't use it. That's why I'd like to see him use it. I look at that 30% shooting from three-point range. I'm not overly impressed in that. I'm looking at the 66% shooting from the free throw line. I'm not overly impressed with that. I also have to take this into account. You know, he's smooth. He can ball. I am not saying he cannot ball, okay? And, he, and he's represented by one of my favorite people in the world in Bill Duffy. But I'm here to tell you something. When I look at him and I look at the fast pace of the NBA game, do you have the potential? Sure. But I'm looking at how you play, and I'm judging how you play, and I'm saying, excuse me, I'd probably take you number three overall as well. But in the same time, it's not going to be with some trepid with the devoid of some trepidation. When I look at a guy like Jalen Rose, for example, Jalen Rose came out of Michigan, smooth, lefty, silky smooth. Jalen Rose his own is pace. a player. He played on the I don't know if five. You know, we don't know if he had a long that. NBA career. Good. He's, That's right. He works here. And by the way, so I think mature. you two would get along. I think they, they would get along. Yeah, I think we they would get along. I think they would get along. But here's the oh deal. God. You look at him perform. The game has changed. And that silky smooth you know, calm, cruise control approach to things. I don't know how effective that's going to be on this level. It might be. It might be. But again, I have to see. Do I believe that R.J. Barrett is going to be a good player? Yes. But we're talking top three. And when I think about a top three pick, I think along the lines of D. Wade, who was five, Chris Bosh, who was number four overall, stuff like that. And I'm looking for you, and I'm wondering, what am I going to get from you? I look at R.J. Barrett. I know he can ball. But I'm also looking at Darius Garland or at DeAndre Hunter and these boys, guys that you will be passing up on to take R.J. Barrett. And that is where it gives me cause but to pause and say, I would take the chance. He's worth it. But... Am, is he being underrated? No, I don't if believe pick, that. If you listen, the average number five pick is not D Wade. The average number four pick is not Chris Bosh. Those are exceptional values, even at those picks. If R.J. Barrett makes in his, if, if he plays 10, 12 years and makes a couple of All Star teams, that's plenty of value. At oh number no, three. you hold, hold, hold. You, did you just say a couple? Yeah. Oh hell, no, that's not good enough for How me. How many number, number, number three overall pick? The average number of all-star teams, the number three pick, not for the number three overall pick. Hell no. You know hell what? No. Research, no, no, no. research. No, no, no. Average number of no, all-star teams made it. by the no, number three pick. No, you're missing my point. I'm not questioning it. I'm saying for me, for him, for that's a. unacceptable. I, I'm not satisfied he's, with a couple of all-star parents. Can I? You better be a perennial all-star the number three overall pick. You can't conjure. A certain draft class. Sometimes there aren't more than three players in a draft class that are well, going to make more than two all-star games. But guess games. what? He's the, he's the third overall pick, right? There's yeah. three. That's, however, three there, that's three right there. However, Zion, Ja, and him. But, but that doesn't handle mean, it. That doesn't mean handle that, it. That doesn't mean that the third best guy has makes more than two all-star so games. You're, so you cool. You cool. If, if, if R.J. Barrett averages... 17, 18 a game, and, and he makes a couple of all-star appearances. You satisfied with that as the number and three he's, overall pick? And he's, and he's a starter for 10 years, and, he, so and he's a playoff that? player? Yeah, that's plenty of value. I'm not satisfied with that. That's plenty okay, of value. Guys, I'm not, I'm not can, I, can I fantasize for a satisfied. second after this Kari, Kyrie Irving news? Okay, Ooh, so we got... You brought up Jalen Rose and your fantasy. Go ahead. Oh, my God. I don't know. I think you would like him. 
You guys just pull it together. Why you please? say you guys? I ain't say nothing. All I right. nothing to do with Can that conversation. Can we talk about the Knicks? Right. I was fantasizing about a basketball team here, okay? Okay, very good. <laughs> with Dennis Smith Jr. You must Jr. be fantasizing if you're talking about the Knicks <laughs> Kevin, and basketball. Kevin Something Knox, good? Yeah. R.J. Barrett, and then let's just say they got Kyrie and Kevin Durant. How good are the Knicks next season? Well, well Kate, he's Kevin not gonna, not, I know he's not going to be there for right. a year. KD is not going to play. In yeah. fact, this is well. How good are the Knicks next year? Yeah. They're a very interesting team with kind of misfit parts because Kyrie Irving, as you saw, sometimes has a deleterious effect on young players mm -hmm. because he is so skillful and talented. He expects everyone to be able to do a lot of the stuff that he does, which they can't. And it's not necessarily a reflection of a lack of effort if they can't do it. As I've said, he may be the most technically skilled player ever, mm -hmm. right? Like, he's in that conversation. Um, and so that's a little bit misfit. You have young pieces who you hope will be ascending pieces. R.J. Barrett, who we just discussed. Kevin Knox, who you yeah. brought up. Dennis Smith Jr., who can do some nice things. With a guy who's already a complete package. And, and with another guy who's not going to play. That doesn't say to me a good team. It's an interesting mix, but right. not a playoff What team. about the following year, Stephen A., when KD comes back? If what that's about the lineup. What are you asking? I'm asking if they got KD and Kyrie. With, this, with the current players that they have the and Knicks? adding R.J. Barrett, what kind of team are they? Oh, they're a championship contender, but it ain't because of R.J. Barrett. No, no, no. It's I'm because of KD got, and Kyrie. Yeah, and that, and that, the that would be the reason why. Yeah. Uh, I'm by not the way, being rude. And by Apparently, the way, let's not, let's not, let's not, no, don't worry here. about it. Let's not forget Kevin Knox. Let's not forget Dennis Smith mm -hmm. Jr. Let's not forget, uh, you know, Mitchell Robinson and these boys. Listen, the New York Knicks have serviceable to good players if you have guys that are stars and can carry the franchise. The problem is when you're asking these guys to carry the franchise, that's above their pay right. grade.